just given a presentation on the, uh, the impact of the uh, IMO Polar Code on the design, engineering and operation of large yachts. The Polar Code is a new set of regulations uh, aimed at trying to harmonise uh, the standards for uh, yachts and ships operating in polar regions. Uh, and that's going to have an impact on the design and engineering of the yacht and the equipment that's on the yachts um, and the way that they operate. The IMO Polar Code is a, an international standard uh, developed by the International Maritime Organization. The code is comprised of two parts. The first part relates to the safety of the ship, so how good the ship is at looking after the people inside, inside the ship, traveling on the ship. Uh, and the second part is the environmental part, so how much the, the, uh, the, si the systems and equipment on the ship have to protect the environment from pollution and uh, the risks of pollution. The reason the code's been introduced is there's a, a, an increase in polar tourism, an interest in polar tourism, and in order to protect uh, the environment uh, and also the people visiting there and the ships, uh, the IMO have uh, developed this code to try and harmonise many of the existing standards that already exist and, and develop a, a common international framework. Met's trade has been very successful and uh, yeah, we enjoy coming here every year. It's a vast a vast, uh, very international uh, playground to come and look at uh, the latest equipment and uh, network and, and generally have, uh, have a bit of a good time.